I think you just don't want to be confronted with uh, reality. I don't care. You can stand out here all day. You don't care, right? Do you care about the babies? I don't care about your cause. My cause? You sure. don't care about the child sacrifice in Texas? I do care about it. How? How? How do you care? Well, I already told you. I adopt orphans. Right. Okay. Well, I expose the church. evil. It's not going to solve anything. What won't solve anything? How y'all doing? Good, man. How are you doing? Well, yeah, th actually, that's not true. I know gay and lesbian men that go to this church, all right, that are okay with abortion, all right? So you can't say that nobody Jesus in here. With <laughs> he ain't with sinners. It, it, yeah, I know he did that, well, but he yeah, called them to repent, right. all right? Well, so, you here so you're saying that nobody in there believes in abortion. That's not true. There's people in there that are pro-choice. I'll tell you what, pro-abortion is not being taught. I'm not saying it's being taught. I'm saying it's being ignored. It's the number one cause of death in Texas. Absolutely. You've never heard a message he's preached. That's not true. No. That's not true. I don't know where you're getting your info, but you're wrong. He, he posts almost every single one of his sermons online. That's right. All right. So how can you say I've never heard him? I have listened. Okay. All right. So, and I know, and I've looked all through your website, and I have friends all up and down my block. And that's where you got your All up and down my block go to your church all right i have friends that go here the thing is is abortion is the number one cause of texas and nobody does anything about it what do you abortion as anybody you'll ever meet right so what does that mean okay how are you anti how how are you opposing it how am i opposing it right just because you think you're against it but you don't do anything to make it illegal what do i need to do i'm sorry what box was i supposed to check all right all right what box am i supposed to check okay i checked the wrong box i have never seen that on a voting book all right all right, so let me answer you. Let me answer you, okay? You need to be near an abortion clinic. No, we go to abortion clinics. We go to abortion clinics. Can I answer your question? Absolutely. Okay, the Bible is very clear what we're supposed to do, all right? All right, James 127. We're supposed to take care of widows and orphans in the time of inflection. Right, I know. We're not driving people away. Okay, so finish your Not point. one person has come here and went, I can't wait oh, I'm leaving. This. Okay. Okay, so the Bible says that we're supposed to bring justice to the land. Right. All right. right. We're not doing that. Right. All right. So it's the number one cause of death. The Bible says that we're supposed to expose evil, to be a voice for the voiceless, to, to make sure we hold back those that are being led to slaughter in our land. Of course. All right. But we're not doing that. We're ignoring it. It's the number one cause of death. If you go to the abortion clinics, you'll see a couple Catholics there. That's all you'll see. Right. You won't see pastors. You won't see protestants right. right they totally ignore it there is a bill that came out all right i was part of, the, of bringing the bill hb 948 all right and what it said was that in texas we were going to abolish abortion make abortion illegal all right N nobody could do it and if you commit abortion it's the same as murder all right so um we had about 10 senators uh, texas senators representatives that, that signed on it but nobody else did none of the churches talked about it all right and we went to Okay, well, let me ask you this. What kind of outreach was done leading up to the bill to try to get churches in on it? Well, all, all the pastors know about it. All of them, okay? All well, of them. Not, no, 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 look, this is a bill. About it look, and, and trying to create a unified front of two different things. Look, uh, the whole Republican Party, the number one, the Republican Texas Party. No, pastors okay. Republican. No, I know that. But listen, the, the Republican Party made the number one plank to make abortion illegal. All right. It was in the newspapers. It went out. This was a big deal. Texas is up trying to make abortion hey, illegal hey. in Texas. And they even hey, said. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Thousand children. Hey. hey. Dude, Every don't come to church and yell at people. Are you serious? Every Just like in Germany. Hey man, you know what? I'm gonna go worship my God and Savior. Uh -huh. Y'all have fun. You know, read Amos 5. God says he hates your worship. He hates your prayers. First bring justice to the land. He hates your festivals. Uh -huh. You are not the judge of us. You are not the judge That's of not, us. The Bible doesn't say that. No, no, no. The Bible doesn't say that. It says to judge do rightly. Do not judge. No, it doesn't. No, it Best doesn't. Best you man. be judged. It yeah, doesn't say yeah, that. Yeah, it does. But it says to judge rightly. All right? It, don't judge immorally. All right? right. So, like, if so you're you raping... So you website, and so you uh, get to judge us now. I, I judge all of Texas. 
all right, that we are a wicked, evil people. And all these churches, all these 501c3s. You're speaking to sinners right now. I am. You're not a sinner? Of course I'm a sinner, but I'm saved by the blood. You do nothing to help make abortion illegal. How do you Nothing. know? You, you've already told me. You don't, what do you do? I asked you, what do you How do? How do you know? So tell me what you do. Listen, let me tell, tell you something. Tell me what you do. I have counseled countless people against abortions because when I was in college, me and my girlfriend went to the clinic and I watched her go through it and I have blood on my hands. Right. I have spoken right. to hundreds so repent, of girls. Repent. And have, have. Fruit, have fruit worthy of repentance. Listen, Help you make it illegal. weren't there Help when I have counseled people away from abortion. Counseling is good. You weren't there. That's not gonna make it illegal. Well, what I'm trying to tell you make is you illegal. don't know anybody in there. That's not true. And you're standing here judging them. Don't be a them. liar. I do know people in there. Oh my God. I do know people in there. You are so blind. I am not blind. I am not yeah, blind. No, dude, you, let me tell you something. I, I yeah. there, there's like 7,000 people that go yeah. there. You're trying to tell me you know their hearts? You trying to tell me I don't know anybody that goes in there? Okay, so. All right, let's just talk about you. you let's just talk about you. Let's just talk about you. What do you do? makes the whole church. So if I don't commit my life to, to anti abortion doing this no, crap, to God. then I'm not. To a, God. If you don't commit your life to God, son, you're a man that lives you in the community. I walk before my God with a clear conscience you're, and a pure heart because I have been blessed by the grace and the blood right, of Jesus Christ. Right. I am a sinner. Yeah. I have been changed. I am a new creature. Those old things are old. All of my sins, my right. countless, countless sins right. have been washed away by the blood of Jesus. Right. I don't have to repent to you. I've I'm already repented you to my repent God. To me. But let me tell you something. Mm. I, ever since I went through that experience, I have yeah. counseled, I have counseled uh -huh. countless people uh -huh. who I knew were in that situation. Uh -huh. And I told them, listen, I can tell you from my experience, do not go through with it. It right. will haunt you. Right. It is sin. It right. is murder. It is murder. Okay. Right. Everyone I go to church with in here uh -huh. feels the same way. That's everyone not true. I know, That's everyone not true, I know that goes to church There's in here feels the same way. All right. Well, nobody look, in here. The problem is worse than okay. you think. It's the number one cause of death in Texas, and right. nobody's doing anything to make it illegal. Nobody's doing anything. They're not. What are you doing to make it illegal? Counseling people to, will not work to make it illegal. You know what? I, I've personally talked people out of abortions. You're telling me That's I've done good. nothing? No. Okay, I'm saying then. you've done nothing to make it illegal. We Counseling need to make it illegal. Make it illegal, but neither is standing on the street with a sign. Yeah, no, you're it doing, does. Let it helps. It does. You're doing it does. Right now. Oh yeah, right. Nothing. I'm pricking your conscience. I'm spurring you. Then why are you so upset? Idiot. You're an idiot. Am I a fool? Yes. Are you a mocker? No, you're a fool. You know, you're a mocker to Scott. Hey, what the Bible what? says about Look, calling you somebody know, a mocker. Hey, hey, you know what? Y'all stand know me? out here do you and know pretend me? you... Do you know me? I'm you talking, don't. I'm talking to you. I'm no, talking to you. You know what? You know what I know? What? I know you're standing outside of a church with a bunch of people who love God. Okay? Hey. And maybe they're not perfect. And maybe they're not doing enough to change the laws. Okay, but these people or are anything, here. Or anything, or anything to change know? the laws? You don't know. Do you know how I many do business know. leaders I are in do, this church? I do know. Do you know I how do they're know. affecting their I, communities? I do know. You don't. It's the number one cause of death in I, Texas. Yeah, dude, I heard it's your It's getting screen. worse. It's not getting Listen, better. I heard your bullet points. They're pointless. How are they you know, not pointless? Listen, I, I, I feel for them, and All someone right. should reach out. Maybe you should be speaking with them right now hey. instead of dealing with you know, people at church. You know there's 13,000 kids right now in Texas waiting to be adopted? Did you help them? I did. I adopted six. Okay, why but you, you know here? what? Because the church needs to adopt the other 13,000. Well, then go talk to the pastor. Why are you screaming? Because you're a fool. And you're in front of my church. Do you, do you know if I'm a Christian? I have no idea. Then why are you calling me a fool? Because you're a fool. Because you, you're standing here saying we don't help anybody while you're outside of a church. I'm not saying. Doing nothing. I'm not saying you don't help anybody. Oh, man. I'm not saying that. You just told me that I've never done anything. You, what have I done? No, I said you've never done anything to help make abortion illegal. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. You should be. No, I'm not. Where there's a bunch. Of, you should be like Jesus. Oh yeah. Where there's a bunch of sinners. You don't go to the people who are whole. Oh, yeah. We're getting whole. So Jeremiah. Jesus, right, right. Amos, none of those guys went to the temple. None of those guys went to the people of God. He went to people who were not serving God. He went to his people he first. He did. All right? He did. He went to the, so the but Christian, they weren't the Jewish serving, people. You're, you're telling me they were living right? That's why God sent a prophet? You're not thinking no, clearly. No, you're not <laughs> God thinking. sent prophets to his people. That's how he, he talked to them. He did when his people went astray. We are astray. 
listen, listen, my child friends, sacrifice let me, let me is something. the number one cause of death Nobody in Texas. Nobody in there is perfect or has it all figured out. I didn't out. say they but were. I'm gonna tell you what. We come here every Sunday, mm -hmm. sometimes three or four times a week. Some of us are here five days a week, trying to seek God and trying to better our lives and better our hearts. And we put whatever plan He has for us on. A, he puts it on our heart, and we execute that plan. It okay. may or may not have anything to do with abortion. It may or may not. How could it not? How could it not? Maybe Children there's are being other murdered. areas. How could it not? So you're saying that's the only thing God's worried no, about? No, but there should be some. There should be something going on there. You know there's not. Because I know. I know. I've talked to people. I've talked to people here. I've talked to people here that went to the pastor. You want to talk to somebody who's in your cult? And you know what they said? They said you're crazy. That's what you just told me. That's exactly what you just told me. How do you I know? Because know, I know somebody in your cult. Who? And they're all crazy. Who? Who do you know in there? Uh, so you're just making it up. Oh, just like you are. No, we have neighbors that go to this church. Yeah, water. Hey, you came up yelling at me. I wasn't even yelling at you. Oh, that was a conversation. That was yelling. That was loving too. That was loving. Seeking to justify himself, he said, "I love you all." Will you come get coffee? You're a Pharisee and a hypocrite. Come on, come get coffee. I'm gonna stay with my wife. So. I'd be happy to do that with you tomorrow. I mean, let's get some coffee. I hate abortion. Trust me. Yeah. How? I have a guilty conscience. That's how. Well, let's have fruit worthy of our repentance, man. Let's work to make it illegal in Texas. You don't have to work with me. What's that? Tell me what I need to do. All right. Start. See, now, now we're working together. Right. No, that's judge. not true. You're I I told you I would meet with you. I told you I would meet with you. I know, but but look. But see, that's not what he wants. Wait, wait, I wouldn't talk to you. I know you you're rude and ignorant. All right. <laughs> listen, listen. This gentleman has love in his heart. I can tell. Okay, you just like shouting at people. There's a difference. That's, that's All right. Different. So look. I'm Todd. Jeff Wilson. Let, let's talk about what we can do. All right, let's do okay, that. But don't stand here and make blanket judgments over people that you don't know. Maybe you do know some people in here. Maybe their heart isn't right. That's why they need to be in there. That's what this is for. That's what we're doing here. Do you know we have over 60,000 pastors in Texas? All right, so over 30,000 churches. I, I'm right. with you. All right, so let's meet. Let's I'll, I'll buy you coffee. Let's let's do that tomorrow. All right, great, man. I'm, I'm totally down. down. But this is not the solution. You want to you want to partner? You want to show us that we're wrong? This is not how you're going to accomplish that. Well, this is fruitless. Just so you know it's not fruitless. Like we have girls come out and say I was going to have an abortion. I'm not going to have an abortion now at church. No, no, I'm not, not talking that, about the sign. I'm not talking about this. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about about standing here because you looked at a website. This No, 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 no. I, we stand at all the churches, right? Because we we, we don't go to evil men. All right? We don't go to evil but men. We go to good be. men and say, look, we need to stop being apathetic. We need to rise up. We need to make it illegal. Because if we can't get the church to repent, because repentance always right. starts in the house of the right. Lord, right? Change always starts in the house of the Lord. So if we do that, all right? Yeah, but then, the, then there'll be change. You know? I understand that, but that's like saying, that, you know, that's like going to, uh, to cancer victims with a cure after they've been through chemo. 
Matt, why not go to the no. source? No, because they're not actually, what, what's the listen, source? Listen, listen, I, I have done this in front of abortion clinics. I've right. done this right. in front of abortion clinics, okay? You said the source, you go to the source. What's the source? The source is where it's happening, where it's occurring. Okay. Maybe, maybe these places where they counsel young women who are thinking about the abortion. That's where you can make right. an impact. But I've done that for years, right? right? Out in front of the clinics, now, right? if we could change like, the law, brother, please. We can do that. Well, let's do it. <laughs> we can do then it. Let's easily. do it. All right, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's right. people in here that want to work with you guys, but but this is off-putting. Right, yeah. No, it's horrible, right? No, it, I, I don't it, mind it, the signs. I think, I think seeing the carnage is what people need to see, yeah. to be completely honest. I mean, when I tell you I hate abortion, I hate it. Yeah. Like I said, I have a guilty conscience, okay? I was young, I was dumb, I didn't know what I was doing. Should have talked about it. I did. Every, you know, I can't tell you I don't like it. So, when I tell you, man, look, I hate it. I hate it. And it is, it's, it's, right. to me, it's one of the most disgusting things we allow in this country. But, I, my, my feelings on it are aligned with yours. Right. Okay. Well, to, all right, to, to, to where I was probably, but you know, I stood out, stood out for years out in front of the abortion clinic, and it just it breaks my heart. It kills me so much. It's, and it's so I went to, to the people of God, and I started going and talking to all these pastors, right, all yeah. over, all over, hundred, like a, a hundred of them, all right. And none of them really want to deal with it. Literally, they don't want to because it's controversial. They know that a third of their women in their congregations had abortions. They know if they preach, if they come out and say, hey, let's organize, let's do things, that they'll actually lose members of their congregation. Right. Funding will go down. They know this, right? All the pastors know this. Like, they've all met throughout the nation, you know, through ministry, seminary. Like, they know that the best thing is to stay away from a social issue like this. That's what they do, right? Yeah, I don't hear Pastor Keith staying away from social issues. It's all, it's, that's pretty much all he talks but, about. Is but the 30,000 churches that we have in Texas, right? We're, we're a Christian pro-life state. But it's the for number the one part. cause of death. There's something that is wrong here. Right. And just so you know, again, on fruit, in 2009, we had one abolitionist society. Now we have like 250 abolitionist societies that's throughout great. the United States. And we have like... 11 states right now i know i'm sorry there's like six states right now that are bringing up abolition bills right i don't have i don't have any issue with the goal you're trying to accomplish the, the issue that i have is that by, is by blanket judging that's the right. issue i have right you, you, you can't stand here and tell me that like this God, idiot God over wipes here, out that all nations. these people are going to hell God, i'm not, you, you, I'm I'm not mean, saying but, yeah but yeah this guy it, right it, here man Look, 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 check this out, man. Can you imagine living in a state? See, look, look. Okay. Yeah? That's what love looks like. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, literally, man, you got to understand that we have a state of churches. Everybody's a Christian, okay? And it's okay. And the number one cause of death is child sacrifice, and it's being ignored in our communities. Right. It really right. is, you know? Yeah, the kids, so we're just trying the kids to. might need something more. So we're just trying to expose all yeah. of this, right? And when we do it out in front of the church, yeah, the pastors hate it, the congregations hate it, a lot yeah. of the men hate it. A lot of them are guilty and convicted, right? Because they're, right. they've been involved in it, right? And it doesn't look compassionate well, and loving. No, no, and I, like I said, you know, in talking to you, I realize that your your heart is pure and your mission is good. The, the problem that I have with it, though, is, is like I said, it's 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 the the method of it. It comes across as harsh, yeah, and condemning, it's, it's all, judging. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. like I feel like you know, even even if a third of the people in here aren't aren't where they need to be, they're where they need to be. They're they're I, getting I'm not, healed. I'm not God saying that they're not. To, okay, but so, the ones that are supposedly right-minded, right, and following God, right, need to need to recheck the scripture because the scripture talks. Do you like a donut? The, the scripture is very clear about how men are supposed to stand at the gates and protect the innocent, be a voice right. for the voiceless, and bring down justice. Right. And Amos, like the Old Testament. Which gates? Well, he's talking about the gates of his people, right? Right. He's talking about okay. the land, the gates of the land, right? So like Texas, yeah. like you and I are responsible for what happens to people in Texas. We're right. men in Texas, right? Trust me, I wish I had that power. Well, we, we actually, we I'd change a lot of things, brother. Well, a lot of what Christendom is today is you people just you believe. You wouldn't see all these mosques either. No, I know. I agree 100%. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what bothers me more. What? 
watching these mosques go up or right. seeing an abortion clinic. Well, the reason they come, I don't know which is worse. But the reason both of them are doing they're so both well, killing people. The reason they're both of them are doing so well is because godly men. We're supposed to take dominion of the land. But, We're supposed to actually take dominion of the land. We don't look, do that. I'm not advocating sitting on my butt and not doing anything. But don't you think that the God who is in control of everything, don't you think that... that Can we get either one of you guys a donut or some coffee? Oh, I'm, I'm good. No, I'm good too. Would you like some coffee? I'm good too. Coffee no. I'm, I'm on a diet. My wife's right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to be good. Man. I'm looking more and more like Homer Simpson all the time. <laughs> Are you, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm positive. Okay, we got fresh coffee. Yeah. It's just no. freshly brewed. Thank, you, thank you though. Cause I, I, I'll have to go to the bathroom right away if I have a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> we got one of those too. Hey, All right, thank it's you. It's cozy in there. Thank you. you. No, I'm great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, gotcha. yeah, sorry. Are you gonna hang out out here? No, I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming to worship. Then come on and join us. Yeah. All right. Well, look, it was good talking to you. Yeah, I, you I, too, man. Uh, if you if you want to get together and, and talk about what we can do to 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 make a make a dent to let me know what yeah. i can do let's, and I, let's have some coffee and at least talk right yeah because like yeah you know yeah so get, here let me give you my number okay well, can you take me. the here, number you know what i got a, i got a business card okay perfect here right. let me give my business card uh, i know i got one in here somewhere i should have oh come on you didn't get to man as soon as i called you into yelling at me and you know being well, loving and all of a sudden you went I, then you went you know, yeah, I don't like yelling at anybody, <laughs> but but I feel pretty strongly about people judging my church. Yeah, I, I'll tell you that. You but know, you know what? This isn't a church, right? I'll, I'll, like you're the church, I'm the church. That's correct. So that's correct. That's just a building. I no, I get that. You know hey, she can take your number. And, uh, yeah. Didn't know it because it is a it's something that's dear to my heart yeah. it is you know but uh um, and you and you should be um there is like i know more people probably than, than you could possibly imagine that i've had a, had abortions like women yeah and um there is too. restoration oh like yeah. full restoration like oh, our yeah. god like you could actually kill your own child and god can restore that that's how great a god we have yeah. you know i mean it Listen, is, I'm, uh, you know i'll tell you about my experience and what i went through but uh, i'm still good friends with her today just been mature enough or strong yeah. enough to make the right decision yeah. you know and, and I you know I mean blood's on my hands there's, there's no yeah. question but thankfully for the grace of God and, yeah. you know because the, the oppression of that is, is crushing oh, it's, it's hard for people who've been through it yeah and that's that was the thing it, it, it first, we deserve to be put to death for it well, you know like I got saved before I went through that which is sad but but before that, I was I had a different stance. Afterwards, I had a lot more mercy of, about well, people who had been through it. And I was like, listen, you know, I understand you didn't want to do that. I know that wasn't the decision you really wanted to do. There is restoration, and God can restore the moss of evil. God can restore it. I mean, I've seen that restoration yeah, no. in my life. So That's what I just said. I have two beautiful kids. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I, they're, yeah. they're gorgeous. Yeah, we had nine. And you know what? It's, it's crazy because I cherish my children. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why I think I have a different outlook on my kids. You know, even when they do their stupid boneheaded things, I'm like, all right. I still do boneheaded things, man. Right? I do too, man. Look, I hadn't been healed of that. <laughs> so, hey, look. I, um, let's get together this week sometime. Where are you okay. going? Yeah, I live here in Little Well, Little Al. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, I'm, so. I'm right there by that Kroger right over there. Yeah, I'm by uh, that hamburger place uh, and yeah. the gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, All right, cool. Brother. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Love you guys. Yeah, love you too, All right. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon.